So I finally got all the parts to the carburetor to put that thing back together. And uh, But before we get into building the carburetor, I thought I'd uh, share, share with you a couple of things that when I picked up this bike, uh, the guy who had it, had, she said, I got some extra parts laying around that go with it if you, would, if you want them. I was like, heck yeah, I'll take them, whatever you got. And he had a stack, and I mean a pile, of front and rear sprockets. All different sizes of teeth to try out, so I don't know if I will, but I got a nice collection to sort through and try if I want. He also had the service manual. And this is the 85 IT200 service manual, Yamaha factory service manual. That's going to come in handy when I'm putting this thing back together. A lot of reference material there. And he also had this thing. This is the race preparation and tuning manual. This thing's a cool read. There's, there's a lot of good information in here for uh, carburetor settings, um, suspension settings, dialing in your front forks, the shock, you know, getting that set up to give you the best uh, performance out of that. And he also had, check these things out, these spark plugs. Okay, now I, I don't I, I don't know how old these are, but I have like six or eight boxes of these, and within these boxes, look at this, they're still sealed, they're still shrink wrapped, but these are super cool. So he, he had all these extra spark plugs to give me too, so I was like, yeah, I'll take them. So pretty cool. I don't know if I'll use them or just get new, but I got them for you know cool memorabilia to put on the shelf here in the garage too, just for whatever. But Anyway, that's what I've got with the bike. I thought that'd be cool to share that with you. Got the parts for the carburetor. I'm going to get into that. Let's build a carburetor. So let's get into part three of Project 1985 IT200. Okay, these are the pieces that I went ahead and ordered to replace. Um, the This gasket here I needed to replace. The one that was on the carburetor was actually fused to the body of the carburetor. But I finally got that peeled off, so I ordered a new gasket. And um, I also went ahead and ordered, I don't know what the name of this thing, but this goes uh, near where the main jet is. The original had a lot of corrosion on it, and it didn't clean up well, so I found one and I just replaced it. And I also went ahead and ordered the valve seat assembly here. The This piece, this needle, this, this springy bit, the one I could not get it to come back to life. It would not operate. So that needed to be replaced as well. Uh, this one, this uh, pilot air screw here, I found a replacement of this. The original was okay, but it was missing the O-ring and washer, so I found one online and replaced that. Um, everything else cleaned up okay. I went ahead and found uh, a new pilot jet, ordered that one just to be safe. That one cleaned up okay, but I wanted to have a, with all these smaller delicate holes, I wanted to have a new one, so. But the main jet is okay, the other components are fine, and um, yeah, so now I can go ahead and put this thing all back together, button it up, and be done with it. Oh yeah, and the emulsion tube, uh, the original emulsion tube I pulled out, it, let's stop that focus or not, but it, I don't know if it was okay or not, but I went ahead and popped it out and ordered another one replace this and put a new emulsion tube in so that's new as well all right so pretty much i got started on this already put the choke components put that thing back in place got the new emulsion tube in place that's ready to go so this is going to go together real quick but i just wanted to give you kind of an overview of how clean this thing <laughs> turned out compared to what it was when i first opened it what it looked like before and what I have now are two complete differently looking carburetors. I was so worried when I first opened this thing up how these floats wouldn't move but I cleaned them up it turned out okay and now they operate on these posts just right that is one IT200 complete carburetor I can put that on the bike. Yeah! 
New parts. One IT200 carburetor complete, back together. And that's awesome. So, but before I put this back on the bike, I'm gonna go, I have a couple of things I'm gonna do. I have the shock off right now. I'm cleaning that, going through that. I'm gonna put some new oil down on the bottom end. And then I'm going to install the carburetor, put on the exhaust, prime it, kick it, see if it fires over, if it runs, awesome. I can go from there and just uh, finish buttoning up this bike and get this thing out and take it for a ride. So thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the videos. I really appreciate it. And this is going to end part three of Project 1985 IT200. I'll see you guys soon.